Sunday's on the lead, IFL TV in association with MGM Marbella. And we're at the Limas Marina with Junior Saeed, manager Mickey Elliott, and coach Ryan Barrett. Junior, firstly, lovely facilities here. What's it like training? Oh, it's amazing. I enjoy it. I don't just enjoy it because obviously I do boxing, I just enjoy the lifestyle. I enjoy keeping fit, keeping active, looking good, keeping in shape, and just feeling good. That's good to hear. So, talk me through your career so far. What's been happening? Well, obviously, I turned pro in 2009. Um, due to a bit of life, I was 21 years old. Due to a bit of life, caught up with me, you know. So, I went down the wrong path a little bit. Then I had a little girl and that. So, obviously, being a father and maturing myself and giving, getting a stable home and that, I had to put them priorities first. So, then yeah. hooked up with Ryan and Steve. They brought me and introduced me to Mickey Elliott. And I can tell you now, I am one lucky guy. That's things that's happening in my career at the moment. People don't get this unless they're at an Olympian level or something. Mickey, I know you, you've obviously given a lot of your fighters a good sort of home for boxing here, with amazing facilities. Is that something that you want to do? We really wanted to give every edge of the fight so we can go to the right way. Have uh, sponsors OASG.com to provide the best that we can, and it's amazing. They're really giving us a good, we're a wicked gym. And for guys like Junior, it's um, men that we can now offer him hopefully you know, the best chance to get the best fight that he can get. Yeah, it's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've had four fights now. I've had four. I mean, see, how many have you been working again? About six months. Six months. He's had four fights in six months. He's got about eight. But obviously, just breaking my thumb and my hand, hey, two of them, three of them have been kind of filled And he's boxing um, in the next week over in Derry. Oh. Uh, at the card, 21 OK. Um, uh, IBF Intercontinental title. He's won all his fights, he's doing his part of the deal. Hasn't always been as small as we wanted it to be, but that's boxing. That is boxing. Obviously, for a coach, coming into a facility like this, I can imagine it hasn't always been this easy with stuff like this. Oh, no, we was only talking about it today earlier. It's like, where do we spit the bucket and things like that? We usually would just spit it on the floor. Uh, these facilities are world class. You're not going to go to any gym in the world and get these kind of facilities. We've got the, uh, the, the, the gas chamber here where um, you know, this kind of stuff, we don't get this anywhere. So it uh, makes my job easier to uh, produce more future stars. That's good to hear. So obviously you had a bit of an amateur background as well, tell me about that. I had 75 amateur fights, lost 10, 165, been to four national finals. I've been everyone with titles. I just think due to my style, the computer scoring, I just didn't find that tap, 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 all that Mickey Mouse stuff in it for me, do you know what I mean? Especially officials and that, I didn't get on that officials. I've had a lot of arguments. I've had upsets in the England camp, I don't want to mention any names. I've caused problems and at the end of the day, as an amateur, I was never in it for cups and trophies. Money, do you know what I mean? So yeah, you know, you see how the cookie crumbles. You've won the majority of them, so that's that's good anyway. Yeah. I mean, so, a lot of lot of them as well is out there, professionals now with some areas, British. You know, I don't want to name, start naming people and causing upsets at the time. But um, I'm marking the professional game now. But there's champions out there currently now, you know, even. Even though I've had four years out, I haven't had four years out and not done boxing. I've always been in the gym, in and out of gym, been up the English for a year, was down body shots in Crayford for a year, was with Ryan for three years. So I've always been active, it was just getting that extra step to, to have a fight, do you know what I'm saying? And exactly that, yeah. These two years. Of, and obviously, like you said, with the kids, you've got to be financially stable before you can take it. Exactly. Because I know a lot of boxers struggle unless they've got good sponsors behind them and you've got two good men here with you. So, so it's very, very difficult for a young guy coming through. I mean, we, we've sort of ducked and dived and done what we can to get junior active and get him out, get him the right fights, not chucking him in against guys who stone heavy and any more of that rubbish. And that, that's what happens, guys, they struggle with their tickets. Then they get offered a bit of money, you know, they don't have to send in tickets, but you're fighting this guy, you're not ready for it. They go and take it, we'll try and put something in place for him, um, where 
we can develop him at the right pace and I have good, good communication with Ryan and with Steve. Um, and I used to manage Ryan before, so yeah. that's how we, we sort of got to know yeah. each other and through that, you know, we trust each other and know that if I leave Boxer with him, he's going to progress, he's going to come through, you know, and we're going to get a good result out of him. And so far with Junior, I mean, we haven't lost around. You know, I've won every single round by yeah. Junior. But that's good to hear. Well, hopefully, it sounds like you had a bit of a rough ride at the moment, but it's going to get better. 4 and 0. Oh, you you're progressing a lot at a fast pace, so hopefully, we see you win titles, start making mega bucks, we and will. then. Yeah, we will, definitely. Everyone, watch your space. Junior Saeed. Yeah. Cheers, mate.